believe what you're seeing behind me is something called a blue-green algae bloom. What that is, is a naturally occurring, occurring organism, a blue-green algae, that has been stimulated, uh, you could say it's kind of gone crazy. The reason that is, there's so much nitrogen in the waterway that it stimulates these uh, algae until they bloom. A bloom is simply millions, billions of algae cells reproducing at a very rapid rate. The real controlling uh, nutrient for these kind of blooms is nitrogen. And, and people always say, well, where does it come from? And the first thing I tell people, a lot of it comes from us. Uh, wastewater treatment plants, sewage plants, uh, when they treat waste and discharge it back to the river, uh, it has a very high level of nitrogen. The last component, and again, it's, it's really all about us, is runoff from our yards, runoff from our businesses, runoff from our schools. Fertilizer, fertilizer is nitrogen. If you apply it correctly, uh, your grass takes it up and it makes your yard greener. But most people, we're learning this, have a tendency to over fertilize. So make sure you're applying the proper amount of fertilizer. There's a very distinct odor, but what it, which is unpleasant. It makes standing or you know accessing, recreating waterways not that much fun. But more seriously, is this algae actually has several repercussions. For one thing, uh, it can produce a toxin that is harmful to both humans and wildlife. Uh, it's not very well understood, but this algae. When it's going through its life cycle and it dies, it produces this kind of gas. And that gas, uh, if it's in uh, sufficient quantities, can actually be toxic. 